Hey, Aaron McKinney here again. I want to present to you an idea that is new for some of you. For others, you already know this, but this is good to go over again. Uh, you can call this Janusian thinking or whatever, but it's the idea of having two completely opposite sides of an issue and being able to be okay with both. And this is very important so that you're not a jerk, so that you can listen to other people, but most importantly, so that you can add to your life. I used to be in the Democrat box when I you know, growing up as a kid. Then in my early 20s, I got into the Republican box. And that was all that I could think about. It was the filter that I could only see through. Uh, I thank God I'm not in either of those boxes anymore. And yes, it is okay to be dogmatic about some things. There is a time to fight over an issue, but not constantly, non-stop. That's all you ever do and it's all you can ever see. So if that's you, I'm glad you're watching this. And I just want to I want to put this out. So let's go to politics because that's where the heat is right now. Democrats and Republicans, you got two completely different sides of an issue. But if you get stuck in that side, and here are some strengths and here are some strengths of each. You get stuck there, you don't get to partake of the strength of that other side. So, yes, is it good to be generous? Of course it's good. You can't, I would hate, I want to be a giver. I am a giver. But if, if that's all you ever think of and you don't ever concern yourself with stewardship, what's going to happen? You're going to go broke, right? And then you ain't helping, you're not even helping yourself. So don't get stuck in a box. Don't get stuck in a box. And what does that take to not get stuck in a box? It takes humility. It takes realizing, dang, I guess I don't know everything. You know, maybe I need to open myself up. And it also takes being hungry to find new things. Um, scripture I wanted to put out there. And I know not all of my friends out there on Facebook are Christians, but just hang with me. This is a good principle for anybody who wants to use it. This will enrich your life. But uh, check out Mark 16, 12. This is a story about Jesus after he raises from the dead. He changes his appearance and he goes and and he uh, catches up with two of his disciples that are traveling from one city to another. And these guys, they don't know. They don't recognize them. They should have. I mean, come on, they're his disciples. But they don't recognize them. They do know something's up, though, because their hearts are burning. As they're having these conversations with Jesus that they don't know, their hearts are on fire. But the whole idea is, what if God comes to you and he tries to present something to you that's in a form that you don't recognize. You, you can't quite figure out what this is. So the idea is be hungry for growth. Be hungry for new ideas. Don't just run after everything, but test everything. Hold fast to that which is good. So that's it. Be humble. You know, really, I mean, come on. It's not just, I'm not just preaching unity for unity's sake, but... This makes us stronger. When, when we come together, when we use each other's strengths, everybody benefits. So that's the concept I want to put out there. I know you guys have heard this before, but come on, get back to it. I think